Hey everyone, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. Well, the weather forecast this week is all over the place. It starts off with low pressure around the South Island, and that's going to bring in some severe weather risks across Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in the form of heavy rain, thunderstorms, snow, and even gale force winds, even severe gale. Then it all clears up and high pressure starts to move in. So on the animated wind map today, you can see that low pressure area in the dark colouring very clearly just over the New Zealand area. It's a large low but it's not very powerful so it's not necessarily bringing rough weather to everybody but we do have some severe weather risks which we'll go through coming up over the next few days. But this large area that you see sort of in the white shading that's this big high coming out of Australia and there's another one behind it. So once we get through the next few days, the next sort of maybe week or even longer after that could be dominated by high pressure, which means more settled weather and leaning drier than average. So let's take a look at what is happening, starting with rain. This is the rain that has fallen over the last 24 hours. It was captured at about two o'clock on Monday morning. So it really covers what fell mostly over on Sunday and Sunday night. Uh, some good downpours, the areas that you sort of see in the red to pink shading, uh, you're talking around about 35 to 60 millimeters of rain in some of those downpours in the north. Most of the areas though that you see in the yellow and gold, that's around 10 to 20 millimeters. And then further down where you see the blue and the, the green colouring actually there is just the natural uh, satellite imagery which means no rain fell and the blue just means one or two showers. So pretty dry stuff around this lower part and eastern areas. But then again, the downpours picked up into that 20, 30 millimeter range. And on the west coast, much heavier falls. The bright blue is going up over 100 millimeters. So there were some decent downpours up in the mountains. Now we've got more rain coming. This is the next five days. So the whole working week coming up. And again, the areas that you see sort of in the yellow are up here to the side five or 10 millimeters, so not a huge amount. The bulk of the wet weather, as you can see, hugs the western side of the North Island. Now the rainfall totals over the next five days between 30 and 60 millimeters as those downpours come through. Eastern areas, you're not looking at too much rain, but you're getting some 10 to 20 millimeters on the way for the next five days. And Southland's getting a fair bit of rain. You could be getting over 60 or 70 millimetres in some spots. And that's all due to this big low that's rolling on through. Now we've got snow on the way as well. The next three days shows, again, sort of that lower South Island getting the biggest totals. You're pushing up there maybe 50, even 75 centimetres over the next few days on the tops of the mountains. And even into the North Island, uh, Mount Ruapehu is going to get a decent dump, maybe 50 or 60 centimetres falling up there. That's really good. It's good news for the uh, ski industry. So this is how we look for Tuesday. This is a large area of low pressure. It's dropped down to the 987 hectopascal range, which is pretty deep. But because it's um, big, it's not overly powerful. And we've got this big high next to it. That's the reason why these southerly winds look so significant. And they will be pretty blustery as we go through Tuesday. Uh, there's a bit of a cold southerly developing in the south that will head right across the country for Wednesday. But let's just focus on Tuesday quickly with the wind. We've got a fair bit coming through in this area out at sea. That's the main uh, area to watch. So we've seen that pushing through gusts, maybe getting up to 100 k's an hour as that moves on through coming in towards the Auckland region and brushing that western side. Mount Taranaki and the eastern ranges over there uh, could be looking at some pretty big gusts, maybe getting up over 100 k's an hour for you. And then into the afternoon, those winds still stay blustery, over 120 k gusts potentially in the mountains and ranges and very blustery around places like Tauranga and around Raglan, Kafia, New Plymouth. Those areas will be seeing those winds howling through across Tuesday. Once we get to Wednesday, another very windy day. This is the windiest weather just out at sea. So there'll be another surge coming in later on Wednesday across the upper North Island. Calmer though in the middle here where you've got sort of an, the edge of low pressure and that big cold southerly going all the way up. Uh, most of the country by Wednesday will be feeling um, average to colder than average, which is different to today, Monday, which is average to warmer than average. So we've definitely got a change coming and you'll feel it by Wednesday. Let's move through. We get to Thursday, high pressure is building out to the west. Showers continue, but long dry spells increasing. On Thursday, the high rolls in further, but it's still the same forecast. Still a few lingering showers, southwesters, 
many places may not necessarily feel like you've got a high over the top of you simply because of that uh, showery and sort of breezy southwester which will still be a bit cold and our final map as we go in towards Saturday shows that high pressure belt moving towards the north westerly winds that'll start to lift temperatures up and as I say we've got more high pressure coming in behind it which it's a little bit unsettled uh, because of a storm down here in the southern ocean making those westerlies a little stronger but that's a big high 1027 an even bigger one behind it so we're now going to be leaning into drier than average weather once we get to around about Thursday of this coming week that is all from me there's a lot to cover you can find all of those maps at weatherwatch.co.nz in the news section or the news section of our app and for all the weather data the largest weather data website not only in New Zealand but the whole planet uh, as far as this country is concerned and that is ruralweather.co.nz we'll see you on Tuesday